I'm currently in our development lab. It is here where we have day after day built up the history of Lumix. Thank you for joining our online launch event. I'm Yosuke Yamane, in charge of Panasonic's imaging business. We at Panasonic utilize the advanced digital technologies, device R&D capabilities, and know-how accumulated from professional video cameras to create Lumix in 2001 so as to enable a wide range of users to enjoy photography. In 2008, we produced the Lumix G series, the world's first mirrorless interchangeable lens camera with high mobility and created the opportunity for everyone to express themselves with stunning photos. Later, we continued our challenge and realized various world-first technologies. And in 2019, we released the Lumix S3, a full-frame mirrorless camera. We have continued to meet the needs and desires of people that like to express themselves, including professionals. This era has seen many changes, and we are now living in an age where anyone can become a creator and share their works. Through Lumix, we aim to provide these create with a new shooting experience. Motion Picture Perfect And as a new brand message, we wish to become a brand that supports creators to express themselves beyond the boundaries of photography and videos. It is my pleasure to introduce Lumix S5. a product made for creators who are particular about their works. They wish to create with the new Lumix embodies. It features a compact body that condenses the essence of the high quality videos and styles of the S1 series. Matt, can you please explain how the Lumix S5 can be used by creators? I'm proud to introduce the latest addition to the Lumix line of S-Series cameras, the DCS5. The S5 offers the stunning photo and video quality of the S1 and S1H in a compact, lightweight camera body. With the same 24 megapixel sensor found in the S1, plus the dual native ISO made famous in the Vericam and S1H, the S5 offers exceptional low light sensitivity and wide dynamic range in many lighting conditions. 4K video has been in Lumix cameras for over six years, and Panasonic was the first to offer 10-bit video in a mirrorless camera. So it's a natural addition to offer 10-bit 4K 60p video in such a small camera. Now Lumix has been blurring the lines between consumer-friendly camera design and pro video features for 11 years. And we wouldn't allow the S5 to be merely the average mirrorless camera for video. We're bringing many of the best features found in the S1 and S1H to the S5, including full V-log and V-gamut that matches the color science of the Vericam, HDR video in the HLG format, and our latest slow quick function with frame rates in full high definition up to 180 frames per second. We're also including professional exposure controls, like access to waveform monitors, luminance spot metering, and the ability to loan your own LUTs. Since the GH4, Lumix has been democratizing anamorphic productions, and the S5 will be no exception. It will offer academy capture for anamorphic lenses and include the ability to de-squeeze and stabilize 13, 133, 15, 18, and 2x anamorphic lenses. Now the S5 is not just a great video camera. Its photo features can help to expand the creativity of photographers too. Thanks to our dual IS image stabilization system, 
Photos can be taken with shutter speeds up to six and a half stops slower, and the system allows for a unique to full frame in-camera photo feature. High resolution shot allows the S5 to move the sensor eight times and capture eight samples of your image to deliver a massive 96 megapixel photo, all processed in camera and offered as either a JPEG or RAW file. For long exposure photography, the S5 introduces for the first time in full frame our live view composite image capture. This feature can capture the star trails left by the rotation of the earth, the blurring lights of a busy city, and even the delicate artistry of light painting all in real time. The best part is that you can see the image being compiled and you can choose when to end the exposure when you see the result that you want. To complement the amazing image quality and creative features of the S5, a reimagined autofocus system provides the fastest and highest precision autofocus for photos and video ever featured in a Lumix. And for added precision and speed, advanced deep learning technologies featuring real-time detection of subjects like human bodies, faces, eyes, heads, and even animals is now available. So all of these features are wrapped in a magnesium alloy chassis that utilizes our unique heat dissipation technology. This allows the S5 to record to its promised recording times in temperatures up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 40 degrees Celsius. And did I mention that it also has a free angle LCD? As you can see, the S5 will ship with unprecedented features and value, but we have even more planned for it. In future firmware, we'll add access to internal C4K video and raw video data over HDMI when connected to an Atomos Ninja 5. And this will provide you up to 5.9K raw at 30 frames per second. A camera like this can only take you as far as the glass you attach, and Panasonic is pleased to announce four new lenses to the S-Series lineup. A classic portrait lens, the 85mm f1.8, will be available this November. Sharing the same compact size of our 85mm f1.8, we'll also offer a 24mm, 35mm, and 50mm lens in the near future. Now I'm sure you're wondering what it's like to shoot with the S5. So we've worked with Todd White, a fashion videographer and photographer from the United States, and sports photographer Adam Preddy out of Australia, and they're here to tell you more about the camera. Take it away, Todd and Adam. Small, compact, full frame, and full of features, the S5 is a perfect camera for what I do. My name is Todd White, and I'm a Lumix ambassador. Up until now, I've been really focused on using the S1 for the majority of that content, and I've also been using the S1H for the video content. However, with the introduction of the S5, I feel like I've got a camera in my hands that can really handle a broad spectrum of both of those requirements of providing photo and video to my clients. Now the S5 gives me 24 megapixels for the photos, but then I've also got 4K video capabilities here as well. Not only can I shoot 4K at 422 10-bit for 24 and 30, but I can also shoot 420 10-bit for my 60 frames a second. However, when I add the Atomos Ninja 5, now through HDMI out, I can push 422 10-bit at 60 frames a second. Another one of the really big improvements that you're going to find in the S5 is going to be the autofocus ability, especially when you're on continuous autofocus and you're doing face tracking. I have been able to shoot on the streets of Austin and even in studio using the face tracking and have incredible results. So for me, in my style of shooting, I really love to have that flexibility to do the run and gun style by myself with a model or two out on the streets of Austin and creating content for my clients. And this camera is perfect for that. It's small enough, it's not super heavy. I can put it on a gimbal or I can hand hold this as well and I can get really clean, stable shots. Being in the S series of camera, this camera takes the L mount lenses. So you've got access to all the Leica lenses, the Sigma lenses, as well as the S Pro lenses that we have with Lumix. However, this camera comes with a kit lens, which is the brand new 20 to 60, 3.5 to 5.6 lens. And I find that to be a very versatile lens. And for me personally, I'm really happy with the images that come out of this camera, as well as the video content that I'm able to provide. So, I really encourage you to take a look at this camera. Once again, my name is Todd White, and I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator in Austin, Texas. I think the Lumix S5 is, you know, a complete package. My name's Adam Pretty. I'm a sports and advertising photographer with Getty Images. 
And I'm photographing a skateboard feature with Tyler Edmeyer, a young German skateboarder. Working as a sports photographer, one of the tools we rely on most is autofocus. And it's, it's been a massive jump using this camera from previous cameras. The evolved autofocus on the S5, you know, it's amazing. You know, even when I'm shooting the skateboarder really small in the frame, it tracks perfectly. The Lumix S5 has got to be the image stabilization in such a compact body. I was shooting skateboarding, which is a really dynamic and fast moving sport. And even when working at relatively low shutter speeds, I was able to capture everything razor sharp. The other feature I really like about it is just the versatility of having a high resolution mode. Um, you know, it's a full frame sensor, which has given me super, super quality, but it is ridiculously light. Uh, I've shot with it all day, and normally I, I get like quite fatigued by the end of the day, but using this all day, I've got no pain. The other thing I've been really happy with is this, um, this zoom lens, 20 mil to 60. Um, for what I'm doing in the skate park here, it's pretty much every, you know, focal length that I need is covered by this lens. I think the S5 is a great camera for shooting sport. High frame rate, the evolved autofocus, you know, shooting at high ISO, the camera's great. It doesn't really miss a beat. It's portable, it's light, the ergonomics are great, and it's durable. It's going to be my go-to camera for these sort of projects. Thank you, Toto and Adam. I'm very happy to hear your nice comments. Lumix will continue to support creators and keep evolving, moving images forward. Please enjoy the world of Lumix S5. Panasonic.